Well, I guess the the biggest thing that's been different in my process is is that the country records I've done them in a very old fashioned way, all of them, and and they were done live and and you know they weren't all cut apart and put back together like everybody does with Pro Tools these days and 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 that's that's not even that's not something that we did even it was stained with my whole career you know what I've turned in for music on all three of these records would be the reference stuff that we would play to to then to then you know so we would do one or two live takes of everything and that would be to a click track and then once that was done everybody would leave the studio and the drummer would stay and the drummer would spend weeks redoing all of his drums and doing, you know, <laughs> six, seven takes of each drum, of each of each thing. And, and that gave the engineer a whole bunch of different options to then piece everything all back together again and make it so it's perfect drums. Mm -hmm. And then those perfect drums replace the reference drums and the bass player comes in. Wow. And the bass player plays... They, we, we take his reference tracks out and he does all of his bass stuff while playing to the real drums, the reference guitar, the reference vocals, and it goes in a big circle like that. And finally, the last thing to be done would be the vocals when everything else is done. So obviously country is much more raw and real than what you were doing in the rock genre. I, well, I wouldn't want to say that either. That's just how it's done. Okay. Like that's, everybody in country is doing it that way too. That's that's how the recording process is these days. Okay. Because you have Pro Tools, because you have the ability to put it all together like a puzzle. We're doing it. I've just done it in country it, since I've moved into country music. I've done it the way they used to have to do it because they didn't have a choice. And.